surrounded by mighty peaks. This is the barren plateau of Ladakh. Yet Ladakh was once the conduit through which passed ideas, cultural forms, artistic styles and religious traditions from the plains of India to the high reaches of Tibet and back. At the turn of the millennium, a unique form of Buddhist culture flourished in this trans-Himalayan crucible. These magnificent monasteries and exquisite murals today are the sole repositories of a culture that had once flourished here. These buildings and edifices still stand as a testimony to that golden era of Ladakh's history. But today, these sublime creations lie in a state of disrepair and their invaluable legacy is in danger of being lost to the world. But over the past five years, one man has been at the forefront of a crusade to halt the ravages of time and human indifference to these historical monuments. Art historian and photographer, Dinoy Behar. I had an image of uh, Ladakh, which was that of a few monasteries that are well known. They're very close to Lake. And these are late 17th century monasteries. With quite beautiful paintings. But after I went there and worked for a few years there and came to know the, uh, the Rinpoches, the monks and the people there, then they started pointing out beyond the hill there, in that distant valley, is a very old and beautiful monastery. Binoy has extensively traveled and researched Ladakh for the past five years. And his mission is to conserve this heritage for the future. If you come across something which is truly beautiful, wonderful masterpieces of art and are also very important uh, historically and are also an important um, section, an important phase in the development of uh, an important faith in the world today like Buddhism and the whole tradition of its art, would you not want to try to save it? To create an awareness of these ancient works of art, Binoy has organized an exhibition of photographs to let the world know of the beauty of this as yet remote and virgin land. Once we had discovered this is what we've been trying to bring to the attention of the world, fortunately the world has been very responsive to the beauty and the importance of these paintings in the historical context. And we are trying very hard to save them. Yet critics claim that even though Binoy has weathered many a storm in his efforts to preserve these relics, he probably overlooked some of the basic tenets of conservation. While shooting the priceless monasteries and murals, did Binoy use generators and harsh lights inside these thousand-year-old structures? No, not in my shooting. It could have been shooting done by somebody else in my cassette also. Let me just get that clear. It could have been a cassette in which somebody else had shot also, okay? I don't use lights. Despite the attendant question, what remains are the pictures that Binoy has taken. And though these edifices that have stood tall for centuries may not survive for long, if immediate attention is not paid to them, they will forever remain in human memory. Framed in their magnificent glory. <laughs>